going to use this assignment as an opportunity to develop their own professional judgment. My name's Lucy Talents. I work as a postdoc at the Wildlife Conservation Research Unit of Oxford University. And about four years ago, I was tasked with creating online courses for wildlife conservation research techniques. In my job, I work to train and build the capacity of professionals from the developing world to protect species and environments in the biodiverse countries, mostly in the tropics. This gives me particular challenges because those students don't necessarily speak English as their first language and they might not have a good internet connection. They come from all sorts of cultural backgrounds, different ethnicities, different assumptions about what their educational experience should feel like. So a lot of them will have come through systems where they are not expected to question what the expert is telling them. Um, they're not practiced in developing their own um, ideas about critiquing and evaluating either their own work or other people's work. Um, so I'm designing short courses there for continuing professional development. They're at postgraduate level and they're designed to be part-time so that people can study them without pausing in their jobs. And I would like to help them expand their tools so that they can do, they can understand the effects of the, the decisions they make when they're trying to conserve species and ecosystems, and they can embed scientific principles within their conservation work. So I, I'd like the, the course to be very collaborative, um, give them lots of opportunities for using the skills that they've learned, not only with the, the data that we build together on the course, but also on their own data. So one of the first exercises we do is very simple. They just go out, they collect five leaves from anywhere in their garden, in their field site, they measure them, and then they put those data into a spreadsheet that everyone has access to and later on in the course they will use that combined data set to start learning how to apply the very simple statistical techniques at the beginning so just descriptive statistics how what what are the data what's the mean what's the spread of the data and then later on we'll start asking research questions with those data so for example is there a difference in the leaf size or shape depending on what latitude they're at because there's all sorts of climatic um, and environmental constraints on those trees so i really enjoy using the lessons tool in sakai because it gives me the chance to structure the lessons structure all the activities that students do so that it's very easy for them to see what they need to do next how many activities they've got within that particular week and what type of activities they are so i love the fact that it, it gives these little visual icons so they can immediately at a glance see what they're going to be up to that week what things that they they have to do what's a prerequisite what things are optional and the different range of activities the lessons tool allows me to embed and link to external resources so we use a mind mapping tool um, where everybody contributes ideas we we build a structure that illustrates the pressures on the environment um, the the state so the state of a species what the population size is what the threats are um, and the kind of legal or the uh, environmental responses that their organization are, are doing to try and protect the species. So it's nice that that can be all embedded within lessons so they don't get lost going to lots of different sources on different pages. I also really enjoy using the student pages in the lessons tool because we use them to really early on in the course in the orientation we do an exercise which is about building a consensus on what our roles are and what our expectations are of ourselves and of the other people on the course. So I try to get them to reach a point where we all agree about what my responsibilities are to them and what their responsibilities are to each other and to themselves and also to me, although I try to take the focus off me. So I've had some really positive feedback from the students, in particular on using that collaborative data set. They really appreciate that they're given the chance to make mistakes with 
um, data that they've collected themselves. So they know they understand how the data were collected. They also know everybody else understands it. So, for example, if someone enters the dates in the wrong format, they can immediately kind of pull them up on that and say, OK, this needs to be done in a particular standardized way. Um, they really enjoy the fact that they're learning a little bit about the, the trees that are in the places where their, their colleagues are. So again, it's kind of getting that uh, cross-cultural, cross-geographic appreciation.